What's up guys and gals, it's Goliath here at Garden City Comic Festival with another interview coming at you with, well, I say it, a Aaron. We say it, Aaron. But the correct pronunciation is... Aaron. Aaron. And that's Aaron Ashmore. Nobody, uh, nobody says that. I don't even say that. It's just, I think that's actually technically the correct pronunciation. I still like a Aaron. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I prefer that. <laughs> so guys, you ever see him on public? You may call him a Aaron. Absolutely. So I gotta ask, what got you into acting, Smallville, your acting career? What got you involved? Uh, started when I was a kid actually doing commercials. Uh, I have a twin brother, and somebody approached my mom and said, hey, would you think your kids would like to do toy commercials or, or try out for them? And she asked us, and we said, yeah, absolutely. So we went out for them. I actually booked the first one, day of. I am wake up, I've got the flu, I'm throwing up. My mom calls the production and says, hey, would it be okay if we bring in his twin brother he looks exactly the same and and they're like yeah yeah totally so I actually say that I started my brother's career as well because without him he wouldn't have that first gig so okay that's kind of amazing actually and, and we just kind of continued to uh, do commercials and then smaller you know one-line things and the roles got bigger and bigger as years went on and and uh, here we are so you guys look exactly alike I don't think so but but we when we we're younger we definitely looked very very similar now if we were standing side by side you'd be able to be like yeah slightly different um jaw lines slightly different uh, you know like little things but pretty similar i was gonna say how do we know that you're you and not him you'll never know, <laughs> you'll never know. <laughs> so besides the roles we do know of do you have any roles that maybe america the world may not be 100 percent familiar with maybe a role on the sci-fi tbs usa any roles that we don't know about uh well, I guess it depends who you're talking to. I do have a, sh a TV show on Sci-Fi Channel called Killjoys. It's in season five. Congratulations. Yeah, uh, at air the season five starts airing this uh, July. So if you haven't, if you don't watch Sci-Fi and you like, uh, if you like bounty hunters in space, well then you're missing out and you need to watch Killjoys. Um, I also have a new show that has not aired yet uh, coming out called Lock and Key on Netflix. Uh, it's going to be cool. I have more of a supporting role in that, smaller role, but I think it's a great project. Um, other shows, not that's it on the air right now. I've done, I've done on the USA Network. I did a bunch of episodes of a show called In Plain Sight, but that aired a long time ago. I love that show. It was good. I actually had a lot of fun doing it. I played the main character's like long lost degenerate gambling brother you know good times i remember that i wouldn't call you a degenerate i would just call you someone who just needed some hugs and love well, i didn't get them i got the crap beaten out of me so you know it, it happens uh so yeah i guess i don't know that's that's all that's popping into mind right now are there any products out in the future you know you don't want to give too many secrets away is there anything big in the future for you anything coming maybe something you want the fans to go check out maybe this summer and this coming fall anything big that we're not made aware of yet uh, no i mean uh, the past uh, killjoys i shot last year and it's airing now yeah basically that's how it works right and lock and key i've been shooting all winter that's sort of what i got onto right after i finished killjoys so that's kind of the, the next thing that that will be airing that i'm in a, a few little indie movies that i did uh, not genre-based stuff, uh, and I also have no idea when those will be released because it's sort of just like, you know, who knows? Sometimes I, they come out and I'm like, I didn't even know. I'm like, oh wow, these are out now. So, uh, but yeah, Lock and Key is the next thing. That's basically what I've been working on since Killjoy's finished. That's kind of amazing, actually. And uh, a lot of people say I'm crazy because I've actually been watching him a little bit since I've seen him a couple times. I honestly, I've said it before and I'll say it again, I wanted to see him as Star-Lord because I thought you would have made a great Star-Lord personally. Thank you. <laughs> Very much. That's amazing. I, I, when I saw that film, uh, it came out the same summer as we uh, we started doing Killjoys, and I, well, no, it was more just like I could see similarities in the characters, kind of smart ass, you know, wearing a leather jacket, kind of bounty hunter type, and I was like, oh, actually, there's a lot of similarities in those characters, and. Uh, uh, obviously, Chris Pratt is amazing, and I mean, I love him. Yeah, and that movie, the, that franchise, I think is awesome. But uh, but I think there's some similarities in Killjoys. A bit of a smart ass, you know, wisecracker. That's that's yeah, that's what I do. But you do such a good job of it. It's amazing to watch you act, sir. Uh, is there anything you can tell our fans, our people that are trying to be actors, voice actors, celeb? You know, it's always trying to come up from down low or maybe your medium. Anything you let them know that maybe could help inspire them to go forward, no matter what's thrown at them. Yeah, I mean, obviously it's a it's a difficult business. It's tough. You know, you have to yeah, you have to persevere. I think continuing to do it 
Uh, I think we got a buddy over here. Uh, continuing to do it is, uh, you know, important. And sometimes you hit rough patches, but you just have to push through. And the other thing that's great is that now creating your own content. If things are not happening for you as much as you want, you know, ha having to get somebody else to hire you, you can create your own content. And I think in doing that, you can bring attention to yourself. You can keep yourself busy. You can keep yourself working in what you want to do. And I think that uh, is like a, it can be a really big help. You know, cre create your own content. YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, stream. It has helped so many people get recognition. Like some people can't afford to go to a, an acting manager or a uh, what's it called a um, hire, um, hiring manager coach or whatever it's called. When they get you, they go out and get you positions for you. Sure, sure. yeah, that's like an agent basically. There it is. That's the word I'm looking for. Agent. <laughs> some people can't afford that, so YouTube allows people to stream and do their videos and do their content. So guys, remember, just like when we started out, we were small key. We built up and built up. It takes time. It takes patience. I'm pretty sure he didn't just become, you know, you know. He didn't just become Aaron Ashmore overnight. No, no. It, no. it was Aaron Ashmore doing toy commercials. Yes. Same thing, you know. This is fun too, but yeah, you want, yeah, it's, it, it is a slow, it's a slow buildup. Nothing happens overnight. I mean, I, I, I think there's rare occasions where things happen overnight, but for most people, you know, you have to you kind of grind away and work at and, and build, build yourself up. That's how it goes. So remember, guys, never give up. Yeah. Remember our motto, dreams to reality. Never give up on yours. Aaron, I want to thank you so much. Thank hey, Aaron. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for checking up on us. We'll see you guys next time in our next interview. Remember, Garden State Comic Festival is an awesome little con. Got a lot of awesome celebrities. Come check it out, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.